Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, for tonight's episode, we're going to dive into something that we really like to cover and discuss on this channel. The Democrats have this tendency when it comes to gun control. Even when you don't have it, when you don't have the votes, act like you do. Act like you're from a position of strength, even though you're in a position of weakness. A perfect example would be H.R. 8 and H.R. 1446. They haven't even been brought up for a vote by the, in the Senate, and that's a Democrat-led institution right now. The House passed it, the White House wants it, but it's not even being brought up in the Senate. This is really important because that's such a low bar for them that they want to pass, but they can't even get a vote on it. So the question I pose to you right now, and we're going to talk about it in this video, is why, if you're having trouble doing the basic low bar level action that you're trying to get passed, would you put forward two, not one, two extreme gun control bills by two different members of the Senate, one Cory Booker and company and one Dianne Feinstein, all of which go down the unconstitutional road of raising limits for purchasing, DOJ banning of ARs, DOJ requirements of licensure for even purchasing rights. Like this stuff is so far beyond the pale, it's never going to get a vote. So why do it? Again, signaling strength when they're really in a position of weakness. And I'm going to walk you through that entire thing right now. Let me know what you guys think. If I'm talking crazy, if I'm onto something, let me know and send this one out because this is a message that needs to go out there. It's really easy to focus on what they want you to focus on, but really, we're going to dive into their their motivation because the why is crucial. Now, I'm going to do a quick word from our sponsor who made this video and this weekend's video as possible, Gunskins, and then we're going to hit it and hit it hard on the other side. And everything will be linked in the description box per usual. Now, Gunskins offers a solution for firearm and gear concealment that is easy to install and remove. Their premium vinyl wraps and DIY kits that add a layer of protection to your gun, as well as the benefits of camouflage. Like, they aren't playing around with these things, guys. Like, they, and they actually feel really legit. I mean, look at the detail on that. With a wide variety of patterns and designs, it fits virtually any firearm. It's got a lifetime guarantee and exclusive monthly uh, subscriptions. Gunskins is the only place to go for an epic look in gear protection at the range. And thank you to Gunskins for making these videos possible this weekend. But now I want to walk you through this, guys. Again, let me know in the comments because this, I think this, I think we're onto something. All right. So here's the first bill. I'm just going to kind of highlight it for you. Booker, Menendez, and Blumenthal reintroduced Federal Firearms Licensing Act. Now, this is the one that they put out, I think it was Thursday, not Feinstein's, it's a different one. Today, reintroduce the Federal Firearm Licensing Act, legislation that will require individuals to obtain a firearm license from the Department of Justice before purchasing a firearm. We talked about that. The Federal Firearms Licensing Act would put in place a certification process that includes firearm safety training and thorough criminal background and identity check requirements. The licensee must be 21 years of age. Okay, again, we talked about that. These things are really crucial, but they're never going to happen. So again, why do it? Now, this is going to Cory Booker's campaign site, which is part of the tie-in. He first introduced the Federal Firearm Licensing Act, which is what was just reintroduced, in 2019. Funny how it didn't get law then, and it's not law now, because this is a constituency ploy. He also introduced the groundbreaking Break the Cycle of Violence Act that would provide federal grants to communities for evidence-based gun violence intervention and join colleagues in introducing an AW ban. Again, none of these things happen, so why keep doing it? Okay, let's jump over to Dianne Feinstein and show you what she did, and then we're going to tie it all together. Feinstein introduces Bill to increase age to buy assault weapons. Okay, let's look at look, what's Feinstein up to since she's been doing this since I was born. Senator Dianne Feinstein today introduced the Age 21 Act, a bill that would raise the minimum age to purchase assault weapons and high-capacity ammunition magazines from 18 to 21. Okay, that sounds like pretty standard fare for Dianne Feinstein, but listen to who else is on the board here. The bill is co-sponsored by Senators Richard Blumenthal. Oh, he was on Cory Booker's. That's weird. Bob Casey, Democrat PA, and Amy Klobuchar, Democrat Minnesota. Well, Amy wants to be the president or the vice president or something higher in the, in the government. Richard Blumenthal is Mr. Gun Control, and he's openly said he needs something to take to its constituency. So why would you be on both bills that Cory Booker put out and Dianne Feinstein put out that have a zero, a snowball's chance downstairs of even potentially getting a vote when you can't even get Manchin Toomey on the floor. And that is like, that's stuff that gun controllers say it didn't go too far and gun rights activists are like, eh, I'm a little uncomfortable. I and mean, it's like, it's a different thing. But that goes back to the entire premise of this video. 
They are, they are broadcasting strength, but they are from a position of weakness. They have nothing going into the midterms. The Democratic Party across the board has nothing. If a senator who's up for re-election can tie their name to this and co-sponsor it, well, now they can go back to the constituency and say, hey, I know we have nothing going on, nothing good in the polls, nothing good in the economy, nothing good happening in gas prices, but here's the bills I co-sponsored, but it's those darn Republicans. Everything is a sh- is smoke and mirrors with these people they they have no chance at passing this at all you have to get over the filibuster that's not going to happen you have to peel away 10 republican senators and a couple of democrats who are reluctant on gun rights good luck especially coming up into a midterms which are like 130 days away now yeah that ain't happening so again i ask you why do it the why is crucially important and that's why we dive into everything on this channel this is a smoke screen to get more votes to say to the constituents we're trying, we're trying. It's just those pesky Republicans. Blame away from me, over to them. And that is what I've got for you tonight. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you tomorrow morning on the bullet points. I'm Braden. See you later.